What's going on guys? We are back tonight with another video for you and this one comes from one of my buddies actually just got a hold of a card and he said man I can't believe nobody plays this card it seems really really strong and I was like you know I wonder if people are just misreading this card and the card I am referencing is right here Haru Specs I've done a video on this card in the past but I wanted to revisit just because I do think the card's pretty good and uh, I wanted to try building another deck around it. So that's what we did. We said uh, when played, if your deck has five or more life on land cards and five or fewer the Roman Emperor cards, your life on land cards lose 15 permanent and all your other cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 perm. So essentially we're going to lose uh, 15 power on just five life on land cards. That's what we're going to do. We're going to toss five life on land cards in here. Now, the part I think people are confused on it is when you read it quick, you think you need to have uh, Roman Empire cards in the deck. And that, that class kind of sucks, right? But this card itself is a Roman the Empire card, and it says you just need to have five or fewer. So it counts itself, meaning you don't have to have anything else in the deck. Just it, it by itself will trigger that uh, ability. So just have this by itself and five life on land cards, and the rest of your deck is... Those other, what what is that, 13 cards are going to get plus 10 perm while your life on land cards get dinged. So what I did was I decided to choose life on land cards that wouldn't be as impacted by the negative effect. Cards such as Sandcat, which I'm this is an evil deck, so I'm going to do a little bit of taxing because this week is uh, basically a high energy kind of burst right out the gate. And then if they're not paying attention, they can easily get... Uh, kind of stuck towards the end when you're only getting, I think, the minimum this week's 12 energy, which is still a little bit higher than I'd like with this, but if they do have some big meaty cards and we do tax a little bit as well, it can still be tough to play, so tough for them to play cards, I mean. So uh, Sand Cat, again, not really affected by the minus permanent power. Uh, we've got Kusku, which we're holding on to anyways, not really going to play it, so it doesn't matter that it's affected by... Uh, minus 15 power. Christmas Cactus is going to offset a little bit, buffing all the other cards in our hand, plus 7. So because we have that permanent effect on it, I feel like it losing 15 itself is not really a big deal when it's bringing 7 back on everything else in your hand. And Dwarf, again, already has 0 base power, but its effect is really debuffing your opponent and buffing your other cards in hand as well. So it kind of gets around as well. And Falcon, again, just a taxing uh, or stealing effect on our opponent's energy is really all we care about with this card. Uh, so the 6 for 30, who cares? It's just there to help us steal our opponent's energy. So that's what we did. We built around Heru Specs. And I also said, well, a lot of these cards are epic anyway. Let's go ahead and toss in Beowulf so we get the permanent effect plus 19 until played on all our epic cards. And we went with Folio as well. Another good card to add. Uh, when played, two of each of your random weird world document and battle cards gain that plus 25 permanence. And our discount is going to be Magna Carta. So since we have all these epic cards, just makes sense to toss Magna Carta in. We're going to get that minus two on all those cards. And let's take a look at the rest of the deck. Our last... Uh, Legendary card is going to be Knight Attack. When drawn, if it's after round one, your cards, wherever they are, gain plus 23 this round. Uh, other cards, Roanoke Colony, just a fantastic card. You can go either plus 10 on your entire deck until played or minus 10 on your opponent until played. Siege of Baghdad, when drawn, your opponent's legendary cards, wherever they are, lose 25 for three turns. And the Caddy Combs of Paris, when returned, random card in your hand loses 23 and your opponent's hand as well. Uh, let's see, skipping down here, just some more taxing effects here, making this evil deck. We've got Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. When drawn, four opponent's random cards in hand cost plus one energy for three turns, so more taxing. We've got Spinner Dolphin. When returned, steal three from your opponent. Art Deco, another little mana source for us, just in case he starts pinging our uh, energy regen, such as King Cobra or something along those lines. 
Uh, Permafrost been kind of neat too, especially against bird decks and actually played against a tree deck earlier. Did like guy had an entire tree deck and this thing just completely countered him. So making it impossible for him towards those later rounds to play cards. So Permafrost, when drawn, your opponent's life on land cards, wherever they are, cost plus two energy this round. And we're going to round it out with Door to Hell just to help us win some rounds. But that's the deck. Like I said, played pretty good. I just really wanted to show off this card one more time. It's definitely uh, seems like I don't ever see it played, and it seems pretty decent. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if we can win some games with it. As always, please, guys, if you enjoy the content in the channel, hit that like button and that subscribe button. It definitely helps us out. <clears throat> also, I've been posting a link in my descriptions down or in my ah, posting a link in my description down below. Uh, I have started a couple Spotify playlists, so check those out if you guys are interested. I'm going to try to add a few more, but uh, just right now for that one, like I said, I've kind of getting kind of been diving down a little rabbit hole with my with my own song and uh, trying to come up with different uh, playlist ideas and curating things and just trying to kind of meet people that way and kind of get my stuff out there more doing so. So figured let's try to see if we can get a following on there. Why not? Could be fun. So that's the plan anyway. Try to build a massive following through YouTube and Spotify and maybe just maybe I'll become a Spotify curator. That'd be pretty cool, I think. So definitely help me out if you don't mind. Hit that uh, follow button on some of my playlists and that would help me out or, or like a playlist or something, you know, if you guys don't mind. A uh, little bit behind here out the gate, which is fine. This deck usually loses the first round from my experience. As we try to get his energy. Just stole three there. All right, let's get these couple cheap cards out of our hands since uh, we're losing this round anyway. All right, opponent's got a good deck. Definitely a heavy hitter. But it could, could pay back or uh, kind of hurt him in the late game here with these heavy hitting cards if he's not able to fully play them all. We'll see, though. See if we can drain him out a little better. All right, drew a bunch of our taxing cards here. So we're getting evil. Do it like that. There you go. He burned up a lot on that turn. 17 energy. It's only getting 7 back. Like I said, he is getting a minimum 12, though, which kind of stinks. Once we get there, but, you know, he'll probably still be able to play two cards most of the time. Sometimes that's all we need to be able to win. All right, we just got hit by Grim. Grim Reaper. All right, it's looking like he's got us here again. But look at his energy. He's down to six. We're still sitting at 48. So we'll see. See if he's got enough in the tank anyway. So he's gonna he's now down to his minimum. So let's see how that works out for him. We're sitting on Kusku too. So you can see we're already up to 
perm power here. There's, there's his two cards. <laughs> Tables are turning now. This is one of them situations where if you're if you're the opponent right now, you probably just want to concede this entire turn or this entire round, set yourself up for the next round. Or even round five. I might even con consider conceding, not playing any cards those two rounds completely. Trying to stage your comeback from there. Let's see if he does that or not. No, it looks like he's going all in, doubling down on this this round that he's already behind. Let's see if that pans out for him or not. It could. He's not too far behind now. 150. Prince Albert coming in nicely. Doesn't seem to have any life on land cards, so I don't think this card matters where I play it anymore. I don't recall seeing any. So let's just play this out. Try to win this round. We'll chuck the bird. All right, looks like he sat on his... Uh, Terminator there. Didn't play it. Probably just too expensive. Right, let's see here. I'm going to play Door to Hell in slot one, so I get it last turn of the game. And Beowulf. We will let's toss Sandcat down since it's got a buff now. Okay. See how many cards he plays before I play Dwarf. If he's just playing one, I'll, I'll, I'll hold it for a bigger swing. When he plays like two or three cards at least. Since it's debuffing. Let's see how many he plays this turn. That's probably his Terminator. So we should be good. This deck's putting some power down now. Nothing too crazy, but when he can't play cards, we don't need a whole lot. why this deck's evil <laughs> there's our night attack right on time nice buff for us so we should start this round pretty good see how many cards he plays two all right we'll play dwarf seems to be about as many as he's going to get down You see, we're having no energy trouble, really, ourselves. We're still at 38. Ooh, nice Baghdad there. Yep, I think that's GG. I don't think he's catching up from this. 
I mean, he could have like a Sedonia in his hand. And be about the only card I'd be concerned about right about now. Because that could give him quite a bit of power if he's been sitting on it all game. And it'd be free. So. I doubt he's sitting on it, though. I feel like we would have probably seen it. So he's going to need over 1100, 1150. Two cards. Ain't going to happen. All right, that's the deck. Did pretty good. Like I said, you're going to lose those early rounds, at least until their energy runs out. But we do even hit pretty hard towards the late game once we get there. So you see the damage or the power we're putting down is pretty decent. So definitely don't sleep on Haru Specs or however you say that word. I don't, I don't even know. Har, Haru Specs? Har, Haru Spooks? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> We'll do one more. Oh, before I do, I always mean to do this, and I keep forgetting for you guys. There's the deck code, F-J-A-Y-V-D. So in case you guys wanted to see that. All right, here we go. I typically try to put the deck codes in the description as well for those of you that would like to... Uh, Check out the deck yourselves. Try her out. Definitely a good one this week. I haven't I haven't lost yet. I think I've played four games now with it. So maybe five, something like that. It's been doing pretty good. Up against some pretty good decks too. Ooh, hit a lot of cards there. All right, I see life on land cards over there. That's a good sign. Means we're going to be able to combat him a little bit. With our permafrost. Let's drop my Roanoke. Hello, kind sir. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. What you got? Big heavy hitting deck? Could be good for us. Use up that energy. There's perma. need you here, you here, and let's do you. We just used a lot ourselves there since we didn't have Magna Carta yet, unfortunately. Ooh, is he burning some though? Holy moly. He just burnt 27 there. <laughs> He's going to regret that here sh soon enough, I think. All right, he's up 220. Let's just get rid of our bad cards, I think, right about now. We're going to play Shakespeare, and let's chuck these two. He's taken this first round 100%. No question about it. But he is going to be down to 12, and he has an expensive deck. I think almost every card I've seen so far has been over 6 energy. So that means he's only playing two cards. Unless he's got something to give these cards dis discounts, but I haven't seen it yet. Haven't even seen him play any energy regen yet. So I don't know what he's doing over there. Oh, yeah. He just conceded. I think he realized his mistake. <laughs> All right. That's the deck. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, definitely a quick one tonight since he conceded. So, but... Yeah, you guys got to see it in action anyway. Making making people rage quit. That's uh that's what evil decks do. <laughs> but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, appreciate you watching. Have a good night, guys.